So before we get started, you probably need to know where I go. Um, I normally fish freshwater creeks and streams, and I mainly go after silver carp, but occasionally I'll go after buffalo. Um, if I find a gar that's like four foot or I'm really bored, I'll shoot gar. And then occasionally you'll run into a grass carp or a carp. So the better the conditions are, the better you're going to do. And ideally you want a day where there's absolutely no clouds in the sky, full sun, no wind, and no rain. If you got all three of those things, you're going to be able to see a lot more fish. And I like to go, well, I don't like to go if it's rained within the last few days because it's going to muddy up the water and make it even harder to see. And right now, here the past few months, we haven't had a lot of rain. So the water's a lot lower, the fish are more concentrated, and it's more clear. And this time of year, I always seem to do a lot better. So to shoot buffalo, all you got to do is find some shallow water and shoot the buffalo. Oh. Now grass carp, I usually find grass carp in shallow water, same place I find buffalo. But I don't really see them a whole lot, so they're kind of like my white whale. Oh my word almighty. That's the biggest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> And guards just sort of pop up out of nowhere, and then you shoot them. Short nose gar. Silver carp are my favorite thing to go after, and the big reason is because it seems a lot more like hunting than it does fishing. Because you got to look for them, you got to find them, and then you have to sneak up to them without spooking them, and then you have to fire a well placed shot. And it's really involved, and I can just zone out and do it for hours. I absolutely love it. But the uh, way you go after silver carp is basically once you spot them, you need to sneak up to them. You don't want to have your, your paddles making a lot of noise in the water. You don't want to be moving around the boat too much. You don't want to talk. You ease up to them. And that's where tracking comes in. Whenever you're going, at some point, you're going to have to stop paddling, get your bow, and get ready. And you need a kayak that tracks well. So whenever you stop paddling, it's going to continue going in that straight line. And then you get your bow pick out your fish and then fire your arrow. No rain, no wind, some clouds, low water. It's gonna be a good day. We've got several fish right here, and then we've got one right there on the bank that's sitting on the surface. So we're gonna go sneak up to it, and we're gonna put an arrow in its face. And once we get close, we're just going to let the boat stop. But we've got that one there, and we've got a couple more right in here. Just be sneaky. Oh man, which one? <laughs> silver carp. And when I'm going after silvers, this is my preferred method, just to sit down and paddle. You cover a lot more ground that way. And when you're lower, you can see where the fish are better, but then you have to stand up to actually pinpoint where the fish is. So here up ahead, We've got, I don't know how many fish are there, but there's several. And um, the way I always look at it is, does the water look like it's moving right? And it does not. It looks like there's some sort of like electrical pulse running through it. Um, we've got probably half a dozen on the bank here. We've got one close. And then we've got a few more out here. So we're going to sneak up to that one right there and put an arrow in it. Okay, spotted the fish here. Just to recap, we're going to paddle up to it, we're going to be sneaky, we're going to stop paddling, and we're going to shoot it in the face. It's right there. I got 
There are three of them here. Silver carp. Water don't look right up ahead. No siree. Always got to scan for the others. Well, that's pretty much it. Just spot the fish be incredibly sneaky, aim low and you'll have a whole lot of fun.